Did you know Python has a secret function that can turn any string into executable code? Stick around because I'll show you how the compile function can make your code dynamic in just a few seconds. First, you need to write your code, but it shouldn't be executable when you run your Python script. So the best place to store the code is inside a string. I love to store it in a doc string because that way I can have multiple lines. For i in range, I'll code a simple for loop that will print the first three elements, starting from zero. The only disadvantage when you write your code like this is you won't be able to find any mistakes while you are coding because when you remove the indentation, this doesn't show any error. So keep that in mind. Now, to run your compile function, you first need to store that executable code that it will return. So you should store it inside your compile code. For example, variable, then run your compile function. And compile function has a lot of parameters. The first parameter, of course, is the code itself. Then the file name, where you want to store your code. You can write any name, however you want, for example, string, to remind you that you store this in a string, not in a other file. Another important parameter is mode, in which mode you want to run your code. There are three modes. First one is execute mode. This will execute your code. And there are some other parameters, but these three are the key. The code the file name. If you didn't store your code in some file, then write any name you want. And then here is the mode. In my case, execute mode. Then I can print what this code would do. No, I don't need to print because my code already prints. So I can just run execute and pass compile this code. And this will print numbers from zero until three excluding the tree. As you can see, 0, 1, and 2 is printed. Also, another mode is evaluate mode. It's usually used when you have some expression. For example, if I have 2 plus 3 times 1 plus 2, this is 3 times 3, 9, plus 2, 11. So this code should print 11, but I should here write eval. Now this will evaluate the code. Since evaluating a code doesn't mean printing it, I need to print and then here call the eval function and pass my compile code. This will evaluate my expression and print it. 11 is printed, just like how I predicted. So to summarize, eval is short for evaluate. It's used to evaluate expressions. Exec is short for execute and is used to execute a code, usually some function or for or some class or whatever. And there's also a third option called single mode. It's a little tricky, so if you'd like me to break it down in a full guide, to the compile function, drop a comment below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next video.